This week, I got super lucky when it comes to artifacts. I got three of the rarest artifacts in the game in just one week. I got the Cosmic Staff, I got the All Blades, and I just got the Claw of Horus a few minutes ago. So I had the Cosmic Staff before, but this week I actually got a duplicate for it. And the fact that I got all three of these in one week is absolutely insane. I mean, think about it. This game has some of the worst, you know, rate drops of any game I've ever played in my life. And I managed to get lucky enough to get three of the rarest artifacts in the game in one week. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, man. Um, either way, I'm not going to be talking about the All Blades or the Cosmic Staff. I have gameplay about that already. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Claw of Horus. So the effects of the Claw are gain 30% attack and 12% chance to stun on swipe attacks. The stun one isn't that big of a deal. The really important one and the really cool one is the gain 30% attack. Obviously, that's just going to be base. And if you look at the gameplay in the background, at one point in time, I do a swipe attack that does like 15k damage um, with the claw. And then without the claw, I do, I think it's like 12k damage with a swipe attack. So that's obviously only about a 25% increase. And that's because it's only of the base. So 30% increase is only the base. And if you want to do overall, I guess it's somewhere around the 20%. Ish area. It depends on your character and how much attack they have. However, this artifact is pretty dang great. This is only level one. Keep that in mind. Um, these are very, very expensive to upgrade. Just to get from level one to level two, you have to use 8,000 material. That is a lot, but arguably it's worth it since you get a lot of really cool buffs and you only have to upgrade them once, right? Once you upgrade them all the way up to level five or level 10, or whatever you want to do, you never have to worry about that again, which is pretty dang great. You might also argue that this artifact is slightly better than the All Blades, because the All Blades gives you more attack, but you will be losing health, which can be quite dangerous in raids and in arena. Obviously, it depends on your situation. If you're fighting P4, go ahead and use the All Blades. You don't really have to worry about dying in P4, but if you're going to fight P3 or something like that, you might want to use the Claw instead. Again, yes, you'll be getting less attack, but at least you'll be keeping your health. Um, again, that, that stun ability doesn't really matter, especially in raids. And in arena, uh, you're never going to see it stun, man. The stun resistance on characters is absolutely crazy nowadays. But yeah, that's basically it. There isn't really too much to say about the artifact, and that's the way I like it. I like it when things are just super simple and super straightforward. Characters nowadays are super complicated with all their really crazy passives, so it's really nice to see something that's super OP, yet super simple to understand. Unfortunately, though, like I said earlier, it is very, very hard to get. I just so happen to get really lucky. But aside from that, I'm super excited to see what teams I can build with these artifacts. I'm sure there's some gameplay out there on YouTube. I, I haven't seen it if there is, and I kind of don't want to see it either right now just because I kind of want to figure things out on my own. I want to see what I can build personally and try to make it a really fun and really cool team. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be OP. I just really want to have fun with it. So I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm thinking right now, maybe I can add those artifacts to my team where I have Predator Batman, Atlantean Armored Aquaman, and Dr. Fate, at least for Arena and in Champions Arena. And I haven't really figured out what I want to do with these in raids. In raids, you really just want to maximize one character. So I guess I wouldn't be using all three artifacts in one team in raids because that just wouldn't make too much sense. But I don't know, man, I'm, st I'm still working things out. I'm still thinking this through. Um, either way, that's about it. That's all I have to say about the claw. Um, I apologize if I said the second name wrong. I don't know if it is Horus, Claw of Horus, but either way, you guys get the gist of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day. Stay safe and stay clean.